This was not an idle threat. This was a real threat. Two men were arrested at Penn Station just before midnight on Friday for allegedly planning to carry out an attack on the Jewish community here in New York City. According to police, the two men were found to be possessing a Glock semi-automatic weapon, a hunting knife, another firearm with its serial number obscured, a 30-round magazine, a black ski mask, and a Nazi armband. A Nazi armband in New York City in 2022. The two suspects, Christopher Brown and Matthew Marr, were charged and arraigned over the weekend. Mitch Silber with the Community Security Initiative said they were the first to track these anti-Semitic social media posts allegedly coming from the men charged. But among them were talking about going to a synagogue, you know, talking about dying by cop, you know, being killed by police, and as well as talking about getting some type of um, approval or benediction from a priest before he went and did this. These social media posts were then flagged by the FBI and NYPD Terrorism Task Force, and a bold or be on the lookout alert went out to law enforcement. And it was these two officers here who spotted Brown and Marr entering Penn Station. We were up at uh, 34th and 7th, 34th Street and 7th Avenue, when we saw him actually walk in with his friend. They both walked in through the entrance. We followed him down the escalator, stopped him, and made the arrest. At least one of these alleged anti-Semitic posts was made on Twitter. Mayor Eric Adams and Jewish leaders pointed at these social media companies saying they need to be held responsible for spreading hate speech. We have to treat Twitter you know, in some ways like a 4chan, 8chan or Gab that you might see some venomous, hateful um, commentary there that could lead to violence. New York State leads a nation in anti-Semitic attacks with 416 reported last year. Reporting outside Penn Station, I'm Morgan Mackay, Fox 5 News.